Hyper-V versus Virtual Machine Platform versus Windows Hypervisor Platform Settings and Programs and Features Windows 10 shows these three separate features that seem to be the same thing or related. Hyper-V, note that in latest Windows 10 version this has disappeared from the Windows Features checklist depicted below, it only shows in the Services list. Virtual Machine Platform Windows Hypervisor Platform What does each setting do exactly, and how do they correlate? How do they correlate? They are separate independent features and do not directly correlate with one another. What does each setting do exactly? Hyper-V is Microsoft's hypervisor. Virtual Machine Platform enables platform support for virtual machines and is required for WSL2. Virtual Machine Platform can be used to create Zix application packages for an app v or MZ. Windows Hypervisor Platform enables virtualization software to run on the Windows Hypervisor and at one time was required for Docker on Windows. The Hypervisor Platform is an API that third-party developers can use in order to use Hyper-V. Oracle VirtualBox, Docker, and Kamu are examples of these projects. The Windows Hypervisor platform adds an extended user mode API for third-party virtualization stacks and applications to create and manage partitions at the hypervisor level, configure memory mappings for the partition, and create and control the execution of virtual processes. Sources Windows Hypervisor platform Zix documentation why can't VirtualBox or VMware run with Hyper-V enabled on Windows 10?